Damn. We can't play for the gold cup and it's finally here. Every team has played their first match so we'll review how every team did for match day one. The first match of the tournament was Canada versus French Guiana. Now, no offense to French Guiana, but they look like one of the worst teams in the tournament on paper. Some don't expect them to get a point, but whatever happens between Honduras and Costa Rica, the winner of this match would would have a chance for advancing as third place, but a draw would see either of them through. With French Guiana looking that bad, it was a must win or go home game for Can Canada. And they delivered the three points. They're up by three goals, but a comeback for French Guiana was looking likely after their two goals. But Canada then put the game to bed with a goal from Alfonso Davies. But anyway, this season was expected and will probably help Canada be a third place team as they maybe will make the quarterfinals. The second match was Costa Rica and Honduras. If there are two certain best teams in the group, then it then it is a big match when they play each other. They want a certain position that can ensure an easy opponent in the quarterfinals and not a mismatch because of the Gold Cup's quarterfinal placements. Anyway, this was also pretty big because both teams are some of the biggest contenders in the tournament. So you can tell there's lots of hype. However, this game was somewhat boring. There was only one goal in the game that came from Urena, the Costa Rican striker, for Costa Rica to get the win. The next two matches were for Group B, and they were played on July 8th. Anyway, the first of those games is USA and Panama, but the USA got embarrassed on her home turf. They took wild shots from impossible angles. Their fullbacks were in position, and they gave Panama all the time in the world for them to get the rebound in which they scored their only goal. The USA were asleep in the play where they conceded. Brad Gizan played the ball incorrectly. He mishandled it and made it bounce, which was just asking for a volley. However, it rolled to Camargo, who was able to score off a weird shot. Defenders have to lock down people who take shots, even if they are in a tight angle. The USA's goalkeeper mistake in the bad defending was just asking for a goal. Aside from that, Panama had countless chances and again, the fullbacks were way out of position. Fullbacks in the midfield draw Panama's midfield to create a run and catch the defenders red-handed. Yes, the USA had been, for the past 20 years, a great cocky calf side, but something tells me that with this performance, they can maybe be the group runner-up and maybe exit in the quarterfinal. After the disappointing performance from the United States was the Martinique and Nicaragua game. And I have to say, it was one to remember. Martinique seems like French Guiana on paper as one of the worst teams in the tournament. And now, because of this win, they have a chance of getting out of the group stage. Yes, Martinique won. The Martinique that has a squad of which most of the starting 11 don't even have a Wikipedia page. Anyway, this game is one that Martinique will never forget. That that might get them to the quarterfinals, which without a doubt would be one of the biggest moments in Martinique history. And as of now, they sit first in the group. Yes, first. Yes, I said first. First place. It looks like Martinique have changed as a footballing nation and are destined to go far in this tournament. Anyway, as far as the game goes, Nicaragua handed them the win in terms of performance. Nicaragua are just chilling. They don't care about their gold cap. They should have just forfeited. And on to Group C. Both games didn't have much happening, despite people saying that this was the closest group. But the first match was Mexico and El Salvador. It would seem like somewhat of a close game on paper, but Mexico just cruised past them 3-1. Marvin hit the crappy Hernandez and Pineda scored for Mexico while El Salvador's only goal came from Bonilla, Bonilla which made the game close at the time. 
the next match was Jamaica and Curacao. Actually, it was the first uh, group C, my bet. But anyway, lots of people have confidence in Curacao making it to the quarterfinal. However, I don't think so. They've had the same team for years as they lost to Jamaica 2 0, following goals from Romario Williams and Dan Matox. It just seems like unheard of guys in the MLS score for to the top nations in this team. Anyway, I think Jamaica was most likely to win in the knockout stages for Curacao isn't looking likely. Especially if they don't get a win for Mexico or El Salvador, which I think they'll get a point at most. Anyway, that was our review for match day one in this Gold Cup. Comment who you think will win. Because of the squads USA and Mexico brought, the other powerhouse nations in this tournament could look for their first Gold Cup.